Okay, here we are. Alfred's Essential, uh, Alfred's Essentials of Music Theory Unit 1, Lesson 2, talking about treble clef and staff, okay? Music notes are named after the first seven letters of the alphabet from A to G. By their position on the staff, they can represent the entire range of musical sounds. So as long as you know your alphabet up to G, you should be good. Uh, clef signs help to organize the staff so notes can easily be read. The treble clef is used for notes in the higher pitch, you know, so like like the right hand on a piano, basically, that, that plays the high notes, or a guitar, or a flute, things like that. Uh, the treble, or G clef, has evolved from a stylized letter G. So basically, it used to look more like a letter G, and just over time and over the years, it got fancier and fancier and fancier to what we have today, looking like that. The curl of the treble clef circles the line on which the note G is placed. This G is above middle C, the C nearest the middle of the keyboard. So you can see that circle. It's almost like there's a crosshairs right where the G is. So if you can remember that that crosshair right there, ch -ch -ch, right at that intersection, is the note G. That might help you figure out the rest of the notes. Uh, in the treble staff, the names of the notes on the lines from bottom to top are E, G, B, D, F. Uh, a good way to remember that is every good boy does fine. I've also heard every good boy deserves fudge. I prefer does fine. Uh, all the notes of the treble staff. E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F. So it goes in alphabetical order. Line, space, line, space, line, space, line, space. So it's alphabetical order. So if you know where any note is, right, if you know this is a G, you can just go up in alphabetical order, remembering that the alphabet starts over after G. The names of the notes in the spaces from bottom to top spell face, F-A-C-E. So every good boy it does fine for the lines, face for the spaces. Let's do our exercises here real quick. So when the treble clef, uh, sorry, the, the treble clef is written in two motions. Trace along the dotted lines as indicated, then draw four more. Uh, so basically just kind of whoop that right there, and then whoop that circle right there. So I, like, I don't think any teacher is going to expect these to be uh, perfect. So just do your best. You know, mine aren't going to look that great. And if you want to make yourself feel better, go ahead and Google uh, some images of famous composers' treble clefts because... Beethoven, his were pretty sloppy too. Um, so this is mainly just to get practice handwriting music. As long as it looks like a treble clef, mostly, it's, I'm sure it's fine. Write the letter names of the following notes. Use capital letters. So, you know, don't forget, you can use your, you know, every good boy does fine for the lines and face for the spaces. And uh, I'm just going to go through this quickly so you can check your answers, but I would recommend that you've already done the work because uh, you'll learn more if you care about learning. So G, F, every good boy, so that's B, every good boy does fine, that's an F. And remember the spaces are face, so F, A, C, E, E, A, D, C. Just like I said, just going through it kind of quickly so you can check. Um, write the notes on the staff indicated by the letters. If the notes can be written in two places, write one above the other. So some of these notes can be on the staff twice. Now we're not at ledger lines yet, so if you already know what those are, don't even go above. So we're gonna look at D, boom, right there. C, right there. B, right there. Now E, kinda looks like it might be on the space, but I tried to make it on the line, so it's B's on the third line. So E, Every good boy does fine, but you also have it up top because F-A-C-E, right there. A, right there. G, right there. And then F is the one other one for F-A-C-E on spaces. And then every good boy does fine for the lines. And that is going to do it for Unit 1, Lesson 2.